Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. This is a pretty special moment. I have here in front of me a device that I'm very fond of. I think you already know this, the Samsung Galaxy S10e. And very interestingly, we have, yes, Lineage OS 18 or Android 11. I'm quite confident to say that it's a pretty good build given that it's pretty early and not even Samsung has released it for the S10 or even the S20 series. In this video I'll be reviewing this Lineage OS 18 build. I will tell you how to install it if you want to do this and I'll also try to figure out if it's worth installing this one over the already stable Lineage OS 17.1. So let's get started. I will start off by telling you a bit about the prerequisites and about how can you install this on your device. This ROM is compatible with all phones from the Galaxy S10 family. The first step if you're on a stock ROM would be to unlock your device. So basically unlock the bootloader. Once that's done, you will need to install TWRP. I will provide links for the latest TWRP in the video description. It is recommended to have the latest one, that's for sure. And once that's done, you can simply install Lineage OS straight via TWRP. Let's just quickly go through the installation process. It's really nice, this new power menu. You can see that when I click power, you have the two options and given that we have the advanced restart option here, if I click restart, I get the three options and I'll choose recovery. Therefore, in this tutorial, I will assume that you already have the latest TWRP installed. It is not really that complicated. It's true that Samsung has made it pretty difficult in the past few years, but it's still doable. Of course, with the warning, that it voids your warranty, so any kind of intervention on the official software voids the warranty on Samsung devices. Now, once you're booted up, you will need to copy the required files into the internal memory of the device. In my case, I have the Lineage OS zip file. I have some gapps package. OpenGapps is not yet available for Android 11. I will provide for you in the video description some GApps builds, depending on how many stock apps you want. Routing is not done via recovery, at least not installing it straight from here. I will discuss about this as well. Once you're in TWRP and you have everything sorted out, just go to wipe, advanced wipe. Here you should select Dalvik and cache system and data and swipe to wipe this will be done really fast and once that's done you can simply go to install select the lineage os build swipe to confirm flash and immediately afterwards you should also flash the gapps file once you've done that you're ready to boot up in your freshly installed android 11 and it's already booting up now, to get this out of the question, if you want root access, it is not the same thing as with the Lineage OS 17.1, so you cannot simply install a modded boot image and that's it via TWRP. As of right now, this doesn't work. I'm sure it will in the future, but as of now, if you want root, you'll have to use the Magis Scannery and basically install the app on your device, download the Lineage recovery. I'll also provide it in the video description if you want to do this. Patch the image within the Magisk Manager and then flash it to the recovery partition via TWRP. Just make sure when booting up you hold the recovery key combination until you get the first warning screen. So volume up, Bixby and power key, 
this was the case in the past when a patched recovery was the only option to root and this is the case right now until we get a Magisk module integrated in the boot image. Other than this, it's well, it's better than I expected to be honest. Just take a look at the animations. Incredibly smooth. I tested the basic functionality, so phone calls, Bluetooth, I connected it to a pair of headphones, it works just fine. Wi-Fi, auto rotates, flashlights, basically everything, mobile data, GPS, hotspots, everything works just as you would expect from a much more mature ROM. With this GFs package that I installed, you have a pretty basic set of apps here. You have the stock trebuchet launcher here, which is very light and very fast. What I really love about this ROM, and I wish other ROMs had it as well, it's something that the Lineage OS 17.1 didn't have, but this one does. And this is vibration intensity. You can see it here. You can choose the vibration intensity when you have any notification or when phone rings. This is something that is offered by Samsung in the stock TouchWiz ROMs, but you don't have it in Lineage OS ROMs, or at least you didn't have it since very recently. But this Android 11 has it and it's definitely incredible. This has been a problem for a lot of devices, including here the Pixel devices, which don't have it, but they do have Android 11. I don't really understand why Google doesn't want to add something like this. You do have quite a lot of options, Lineage OS options, which make the device really, really usable. You do have this option, which is nice. You can control playback by long pressing the volume keys. This is an old feature of Lineage OS, but it's very useful. What I love about Lineage OS as well is that you can choose two button, three button or gesture navigation. In the most recent updates of Pixel devices, two button navigation is gone. It's true that you can flash a Magisk module to bring it back, but it's something else when you have it natively here in the ROM. This ROM is developed by Ivan Meller the same person who develops the Lineage OS 17.1 for the S10 series and for the Note 10 series. So you can definitely be assured of the fact that it's very stable and that it will get updated monthly. I really love how fast it is. I'm not really sure what I can show you, but I will go through the menus anyway. You do have the typical stuff like tap to wake, tap to sleep, wake on plug, high touch sensitivity to use it with gloves, and sound. Well, things are pretty typical with the mention that you can choose the vibration intensity that I showed you earlier, but that is somewhere in the accessibility menu. Storage, well, I have some downloaded packages like the zip file and some gapps packages uh, but i would say that if you have a blank device you can see right here that the system occupies around 12 gigabytes so you would probably be left with about 115 from scratch which is kind of amazing i haven't played with any options here so everything you see is exactly how it launches right from the start. I believe the animation is already turned to 0.5. Let's check it out in developer options. No, it's on one, but I could swear that it's on 0.5 because of the speed. Well, that's only a good thing, I guess. Right now it's even faster than before. You can check the RAM usage. I don't have many apps installed, so it's pretty tricky to figure out, but Given how clean a Lineage OS ROM is, nothing to say, just a thumbs up. Of course, you do have digital well-being, the privacy pane, everything is Android 11, so you can 
be assured of the fact that whatever changes Google has brought in the back end of Android 11 are also present here. Location, I had no issues here. Security, and probably here it's worth mentioning that the fingerprint scanner works just fine and that you can log in with it even in banking apps. We have the latest security update and we will have it for the foreseeable future. I'm not really sure if encryption works. You do need some uh, preparation for it. I don't think it's as easy as just clicking encrypt phone and that's it, especially on Lineage OS and with a custom recovery. In accessibility, as you've seen before, we have some extra options, including the vibration intensity right here, which is nice, which is very useful. And I guess that's about it. We have system, we have some options for the torch, gestures, quickly open camera, button, navigation here. You can choose gesture, two button or three button. They all work just fine. Power menu with the advanced restart menu that you can activate. And I guess that's about it. What I can tell you straight off the bat is that this ROM is fast. From what I could see in a few days, it's pretty stable. And from what I could read from other users from the XDA thread, it's much more stable than I would have expected given that it was only launched a few months ago, Android 11. I'm not talking about this ROM by itself. So it's quite an amazing feat. I would have to congratulate Ivan Miller for this. I'm not really sure if I will use it as a daily driver. I guess I will, but only after the root solution is already implemented in the boot image. Until then, I have my Pixel 4a. And of course, I have the Lineage OS 17.1 for the Samsung Galaxy S10, which is incredible and which keeps getting monthly updates just like this one. It's a much more mature ROM and I guess it's, uh, it's the more, let's say, stable option overall. This is a pretty fresh build, so you might find some corner cases, some scenarios in which the ROM will behave unexpectedly, but overall I would fully recommend this ROM. I'm really glad about the state that it's in. This was my review of the Lineage OS 18 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. As I previously said, it's compatible with all S10 variants and Probably in the future, it will also come for the Note 10 family. All the required links that I told you about are in the video description. And there you can also find a guide on how to root any Samsung Galaxy S10 device. If you're looking to install this ROM and start from scratch. If you like this video, please do press the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more similar videos in the future, also press the subscribe button, which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. In the video description, you also find the links to my social media and Patreon accounts. Once again, thank you so much. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. Stay safe guys, until next time, bye!